Hey guys, welcome back to Ridgewood Apiary. So today what I'm wanting to do is actually go through some of the basic equipment you're going to need if you're wanting to get into beekeeping. Uh, what I actually did, just to let you know, is I bought a like beginner's kit and that came with a lot of stuff and to be honest with you, it kind of caused me to want to expand faster than I needed to. Um, so with today, it's just going to be the bare bones, like I want to get started tomorrow. First thing I would suggest getting at a minimum is a veil, something to actually cover and protect your face. Uh, just because if you get stung in the eye or near the eye, you actually could lose your vision. Plus, getting stung in the face probably hurts the absolute. You also may have noticed that whenever I am out at the beehives, I wear a hat. And I actually do that for two reasons. The first one is the sun is actually in my eyes a lot whenever I'm filming. Uh, so that just kind of helps me out. But also, with these, with these suits, sometimes the actual mesh will kind of push in towards your face. And stingers can get through that. Um, so the brim of the hat just pushes the actual uh, mesh away from you a little bit. The other equipment you might need are some gloves. And that's just up to your own like, comfort level and how okay you are with the possibility of getting stung in the hand. And the next two items are going to be some of the most important items that uh, you'll have in like your beekeeping toolbox. And the first one is going to be your hive tool. You've seen me use this a lot, but you probably haven't really seen it up close. So it's actually got kind of a... Uh, almost a bladed edge it's not really sharp or anything like that but it does taper down a little bit and that just allows you to get in between the boxes get in between the frames uh, there's many different styles of these I prefer this one uh, with the J hook on the end of it because I can actually hook in between the frames and pry them out you're also going to need a smoker now that's it for the necessary equipment that you're gonna have to protect yourself and to work the bees but you're also going to need something to keep the bees in there's many different styles of hives. I went over that in my last from the hive video. I just want to go through the different parts of this guy. This is a 10 frame Langstroth hive. Um, starting from the top, you have your cover. This is called a telescoping cover because kind of like uh, those Russian nesting dolls, as things go further down with this, they actually get smaller. Underneath the telescope cover, you actually have your inner cover. This um, allows for a little bit of ventilation to happen. You can see this one actually has a hole right here. Uh, this acts as both ventilation and a top entrance for the bees. There are different types of lids that are called migratory covers and they just fit flush. Basically kind of like how this inner cover just sits right here on top of the frames. That cover would just sit right on top of them. The next thing you're going to need is actually a box of some type. Uh, it could be a deep box like this or it could be a medium box like this. You're also going to need frames to put into your box. Uh, there's many different types. This one is actually a deep with a black plastic foundation. They make this in white as well. I prefer having the black uh, foundation in my brood chamber or my deep box because it makes seeing eggs a lot easier. Having frames with the foundation is not necessary. People do actually use uh, foundationless frames. Now hopefully you guys can see this or at least see the comparison but the black uh, plastic actually has smaller hexagons on it than the green. And that's because the black plastic is mainly for uh, worker bees and pollen stores and honeycomb. Whereas the green is more for uh, drones, which are just a bigger bee. Those are the male bees. The next thing you want to consider getting is actually this piece of wood down here. This is an entrance reducer. Um, and it does exactly what it says. It reduces the size of the entrance of the hive. Right here is what we're normally looking at for the hive. So this actually has two different settings. It has a smaller one, which I use during the winter. And then once we get into the spring and summer, I could just flip it. And now I have a much bigger entrance for them. This is our bottom board. And I actually have two different ones. Uh, all I have in here right now are screen bottom boards. Um, the solid bottom boards I have are on the hive right now because I'm actually treating the bees for mites. Uh, you guys didn't get to see that, but I promise you we'll be doing that again later this year. So the purpose of the screen bottom board is twofold. One is for ventilation because we get a lot of uh, humidity here in South Carolina and any moisture in the hive is actually gonna be harmful for the bees. So whenever the condensation starts to fall, it just falls straight through. The other reason is this is actually for integrated pest management. Um, I mentioned that right now I'm treating the hives for mites 
and this is one of the ways that we can actually uh, treat them for mites along with that green frame that you just saw uh, mites tend to go towards the the drone brood versus any of the other brood you're also going to need a way to feed your bees because um, when you get them either in a package or a nuke they are going to have minimal resources if they're a package they don't have any resources at all but they're going to need kind of a jump start uh, what a lot of beginners get is something like this this is just entrance feeder fits right here um, and then you actually take a jar this is a pint mason jar. I believe it will also take quartz. Uh, mine came with this lid that has some holes in it. This got syrup in it. You just take it, flip it real quick. It creates a vacuum and you can set it in here. The bees can actually move in and out freely and take the syrup from this jar. And last but not least, the most important thing that you need when you're starting your beekeeping journey, bees. There's no bees in here right now, but this is actually a nuke box that my bees came in whenever I got my very first uh, colony. Uh, it holds five frames. There's a couple of frames of brood in varying stages. Um, there's some pollen frames, some honey frames, uh, about 10,000 bees and a queen in here. The other way you can get bees is uh, by buying a package and stay tuned in the next video because we actually learn how to install a package in our next video. And finally, the third way you can get them is by catching a swarm. Um, definitely don't catch a swarm if you don't have equipment to put them in because they're going to need a spot to go pretty much right away. To recap, here's some of the things that you absolutely need if you're going to start beekeeping. You need some type of face protection, a veil at a minimum, a jacket would be great, a full body suit, even better. Um, you need a hive tool. You need a hive to include a bottom board, entrance reducer, a brood box of some type, it can even be the medium that I showed you earlier, with frames in it, uh, and a lid. If you have the migratory lid, great, that's all you need. If you have a telescoping lid like this, you need the inner cover as well. There's two places that I would recommend checking out if you're looking for beekeeping equipment in the Midlands of South Carolina. The first one being Johnson's Bees and Supply, which is near Aiken, South Carolina. Uh, if you're in Augusta, Georgia, you can also check out uh, them. They're relatively close. The woodenware that they carry is top-notch. It's very good quality. Um, they have a good variety of products, and the owners are fantastic as well. If you're in the Columbia area, I would recommend checking out Blythewood Bee Company. It's actually where I got uh, all of my equipment to start with, and they do have that beginner's beekeeping package I was talking about. Um, all of them have their own website, so I'll make sure to include that as well. If you're outside of South Carolina, um, I would check out Man Lake, which uh, is a more nationally recognized brand, and uh, Day Dan. Uh, I'll have everyone's website down in the description. Feel free to check them out. And that's it. That's all you need. Beekeepers, if you're watching me, did I forget anything? If I, if I did, please let me know down in the comments. I want to thank you guys for uh, watching this video. Please make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Follow us on Instagram at Ridgewood Apiary. Check us out on, on Facebook as well. And thank you. Take care, guys.